Let's take a look. Of course, adaptation I talked about, and adaptation is a body part or behavior that helps a living thing meet its needs. So we have a body part or a behavior that the animal will change as part of its body in order to uh, survive or to meet its needs. If we take a look at a giraffe, giraffes grew very long necks over a very long time, right? This is how their bodies have changed in order to meet their needs. Of course, animals need food. We talked about that before. So animals, to change to their environment, they will grow different body parts, very interesting body parts, in order to adapt or change to their environment. Trees that have very high branches, how can they get the food? They can grow a long neck, and that's what a giraffe did here. So that's an adaptation. <clears throat> Camouflage is another adaptation that animals will use. Look at this cute little uh, puppy. It's probably not a puppy that you want in your house. It's a baby wolf, right? You don't want wolves in your house, right? But it's a kind of cute when they're babies. Camouflage is a color or shape that helps an animal hide. You can see that this animal here has white fur. It's in the cold snow, so it blends in. It blends in to the background right? It's hard to see. Let's take a look at a video. We have a video. Here's Mama Wolf, right? She's looking for her baby. He's on the other slide, okay? Let's take a look at the video. We can see that the very beautiful uh, wolf here, right? And this wolf lives way up north in the Arctic, and there's a lot of snow in the Arctic. Now, if this wolf was brown or gray or black, other animals would be able to see it very well. And here's Mama Wolf coming to say hello, right? So other animals could see it very well if they were different colors. But because they are white, because they have camouflage into the background, these wolves can come close to other animals that they eat more easily, right? They want to hide in the background. They don't want other animals to see them because the other animals will run away. They want to catch the other animals. So their body uh, fur is white to blend in to the surrounding snow. They're using camouflage to do that. And of course, you know, if you see wolves, some wolves will change the color of their fur. In the spring or summer, they'll be brown. And in the winter, their coat, their fur changes to white. So some animals will change, will adapt with the changing seasons. So that's very interesting. Now, another thing that we can talk about animals and adaptation, of course all animals need food, right? There's two kinds of food sources, other animals or plants. Now some animals have developed, they have changed their bodies so that they only eat other animals. We call those animals carnivores. A carnivore is an animal that only eats meat. So a carnivore only eats meat. A carnivore is at the top of the food chain. That's an interesting one. Food chain. What is a food chain? If you think about it, plants would be very at the bottom. Plants are at the bottom here. What eats plants? Well, deer can eat plants, right? Deer will eat plants, but what eats deer? Wolves will eat deers. Wolves. Okay? So this is a very simple food chain. What eats wolves? Nothing eats wolves, right? <laughs> Until they die, of course. But nobody, nothing hunts wolves. Th that would be very dangerous, right? Wolves hunt other animals. So this is a very simple food chain. The bottom of the food chain is plants. Deers eat plants. Wolves eat deer. Wolves are at the top of the food chain. Wolves eat other animals animals. They are carnivores. Just like a bear is a carnivore, it eats other animals. It's eating a fish here. What eats a bear? Nothing eats a bear, right? Uh, the bears just grow old and die. Uh, so bears are also at the top, at the top of the food chain. And that's what we mean when we talk about the food chain. You have the bottom and then you have the top. If something eats something else, it's not at the top. If nothing eats it, then it is at the top of the food chain. Okay. Uh, herbivore, an herbivore, 
is another type of animal, right? This type of animal only eats plants. An herbivore is an animal that only eats plants, like this cute little rabbit here. And a rabbit is an herbivore. Now think about what I just told you about the food chain, right? We have plants at the bottom, then we have a rabbit that eats the plants. Does anything eat the rabbit? Yes, unfortunately, sorry cute rabbit. Wolves will eat rabbits. Uh, eagles, big birds, will eat rabbits. Foxes will eat rabbits. So rabbits are not at the top of the food chain. They're in the middle of the food chain, right? They eat plants, but something will eat the rabbit. So rabbits are not at the top of the food chain. They're in the middle somewhere. Okay. Wild. Being wild means living or growing in natural conditions, right? So these are wild animals. When we think about wild animals, we're not talking about pets, right? Or animals that are in zoos. Pets are animals that we keep in our homes. They are not wild animals. Your dog is not wild. If you go to the zoo and see a bear in a cage, it's not in the wild, right? It's in a zoo. It's in captivity. But in the wild means living or growing in natural conditions. No man-made uh, surroundings, right? They're not living in homes. They're not living in zoos. They're not living in cages. They're out in nature. In natural conditions, they are out in nature. Out in nature. Okay? So that is the quality or the essence of being wild, wild animals. Okay. Spiny is an adjective that we can talk about animals. This is what animals, this is another type of adaptation, and this is a very cute little animal here, isn't it? This is a puffer fish. And if you go scuba diving, you can see them. They're very, they look really cute. They've got these really big eyes and a small mouth, right? And they're very cute little guys. Usually they don't look like this. Usually they look like a fish, uh, but they're kind of fat fish. But if they get scared, they blow up. And all these little spines that are normally flat on their bodies, they start to stick up. If you touch that, ow, right? It's like touching a bunch of pins and needles. And that is very important, spiny. So we can say it's spiny, it's, very, it's, it's hard to touch it, right? It's like you're touching pins and needles. Spiny means having sharp points like needles. So that's also, that's obviously a very good adaptation for this fish. This fish will protect itself by that. Nobody wants to touch this fish because it could hurt, right? Let's take a look at a video of this fish here. Now this is a different type of fish. This is called a lionfish. And this is a very poisonous fish. You do not want to touch this fish. You see, it has many spines just like the puffer fish. It has many spines sticking up from its body. It doesn't blow itself up. These spines are always there. If you accidentally touch this fish, you will get some poison in your skin and it, will, it, it won't kill you, but it will hurt a lot and it will really, really ruin your vacation. You do not want to get near these fish. And these fish are very slow moving, so you gotta be careful of these fish. Okay. Now we have shape. Animals, when they adapt to their wild surroundings, they'll have different shapes. And we can see a lot of different shapes even if we just look at shells, right? Some type of animals in the, uh, in the ocean will use shells for their body to protect them, and they have a lots of different shapes according to what their needs are. Shape is the outer form of something, the outer form. So we have a starship, look, a star fish, we have a starfish that looks like a star shape. We have a, a, a circular a cone or circular shells, of course, some hermit crabs will live in there, of course snails will live in there first, then a hermit crab will come by and take that as its home. So we have lots of different shapes for different types of animals that live in the ocean, but also all types of animals have different shapes. Lesson 3. Adaptations for Survival
Adaptation. An adaptation is a body part or a behavior that helps a living thing meet its needs. Camouflage. Camouflage is the color or shape that helps an animal hide. Carnivore. A carnivore is an animal that only eats meat. A carnivore is at the top of the food chain. Herbivore. An herbivore is an animal that only eats plants. A rabbit is an herbivore. Wild. Being wild means living or growing in natural conditions. Spiny. Spiny means having sharp points like needles. Shape. Shape is the outer form of something.